first reaction is either, uh, whoa, cool, that's a common one, or really, skepticism is another common one. I'm Heather Jean Hagcourt, and uh, I'm an information artist, most recently working with DNA and biotechnology, the cigarette butt, for example, and there I basically cut off a tiny piece of it, um, so a little chunk of the butt end, and cut that up into smaller pieces, um, heating and cooling the sample, and that eventually extracts the DNA. Uh, so in Stranger Visions, I'm um, collecting detritus uh, traces of human forensic evidence that we leave behind on the street in public places, and I'm um, extracting DNA, analyzing that, da that data to look for specific traits, and then fashioning those into a, a, a photorealistic portrait, a three-dimensional um, kind of mass. So right now these are basically uh, mostly based on uh, ancestry and eye color and gender and there's a bunch of other clues that I'm interested in looking at. But it was kind of my first draft of doing self-portrait. So it's this whole sort of combination of methods ranging from like very computationally sophisticated to really manual. <laughs> so basically I did a bunch of research beforehand um, into you know what we know, what science knows about what we look like from our DNA. And part of the idea here is that it's like taking this idea of genetic determinism, of science knowing what we can look like from our genes and pushing it to this kind of crazy extreme. Right, like what if you were only constituted by your DNA? Definitely got me creepy stalker connections, and I'm okay with that because these samples are going to be anonymous, and so, well, it has the feeling of creepiness, the creepiness here is the potential actually for someone else to be really, <laughs> someone who knows who you are, and follows you, and picks up your hair, and extracts your DNA, and that's the creepy potential.